Hi everyone. So I want to show you how you can stream using Zoom and I've got two other videos showing you how you can do this with Facebook and with YouTube. But for many of you, you want to do your conferences or events using something else, which is maybe Hopin, which is very popular, or Crowdcast and many others. There's Excel events and Bizaboo and there's a whole load out there. Vimeo as well. So how do you do it on here? Well, the first thing you need to know about Zoom is it doesn't work on the free version for the Facebook or YouTube streaming either. But if you've paid for something, then you can do that. So what I'm going to do is log into Zoom. So I've already done that and I'm here in my settings. So I'm just on the settings on the side here. And what you're looking for is under in meeting advanced. And if I click on that, I can now scroll down a bit further and you'll see there's an option here, allow live streaming of meetings and that's switched on. That switch just there is showing you that. You can see I've got them all switched on and it's the custom live streaming service that you want. And that's the one where you get these settings called the RTMP settings that you can plug into here and then you can stream to anything that supports it, which is a lot, including YouTube. And that's what I'm gonna use as the sample here. So there's two things you need. One is the server and the other one is the RTMP key or the live stream key settings. And all of those will be provided. So if you go to the site such as Hopin and then you click on RTMP, you'll see it's got it there. And it's quite easy to find same in YouTube as well and, and all of the others. So let's just take a look at doing that. So I'm gonna switch over to Zoom now. So here I am in Zoom. Now one of the things you might realize is I'm using the camcorder here and I've connected an HDMI out of the camera into the computer and I'm doing that using this thing here called a CamLink 4K and there's many others such as the ATEM Mini and loads of other devices like this that take an HDMI in and then use the USB to connect in here. And if you've got USB-C, you just need an adapter. The A10 Mini is great because it's easy to use. You can plug in cameras. Mine, I can plug in up to four cameras and easily switch between them. So I use that for doing it. You could just use the webcam, but if you're doing a conference or an event or something like that, you might just need a proper camera to do that. And it's anything that's really got an HDMI out and it's got to be a clean HDMI and you'll see I've got a link below in the description for clean HDMI there's a video I have done on that so what clean HDMI means is that on the screen you're not having all the other information like how much battery life recording time and all of that shutter speed and all that on the screen you can see it is clean it is just me then here in zoom I've already started a meeting and you can see here in mute, I've got, well, the arrow next to mute, which is the microphone settings. You can see where I select a microphone. I've got the CamLink 4K. There are many other options here of which I've plugged in some others as well. You could just use the one uh, connected to your computer, which is the MacBook Pro microphone in this case. And then next to where it says stop video for the video options, I can click here and you can see it's got the CamLink 4K and I can choose a different camera. The FaceTime HD camera built in is my webcam here. And guess what? You can switch as well whilst you're actually streaming or recording or in any kind of Zoom call. So how do I now get it out to the service that I'm going to use, such as Hopin or Vimeo? So how do I do that? Well, it's down here. It's this more button with the three dots. I click on that and I want live on custom live streaming service. And I click on that and it's going to open up the page here where I enter in the details. And I've actually got the streaming URL, which is the um, link that I've got to put in here. This is the YouTube one. I've already copied it. I'm going to paste it in. Now the streaming key, you should never share that. And And if I go to Zoom, you'll actually see it's hidden here. I can just click on copy. It copies it. It remains hidden. I now go back to my page here and I can paste that in. And you can't see it. 
I could click on show, but I'm not going to do that because I shouldn't do that. If someone has your streaming URL, which they could probably figure out based on the service you're using, but if they have your streaming key, they could stream instead of you. And you probably don't want that. However, if you're working with someone, you might want to share it with them, but do remind them, although they're probably fully aware, not to share it with anyone. So enter a live streaming page. This is the streaming page where people are going to watch it from. And for that, you might, you know, that could be the YouTube page or the Hopin page. So that's just a URL, the website address. It might need logging in. So if you do, and that's authentication, you might just need to tick this and then it will come up with the username and password and it will then pass that onto the server. So if you're using Hopin or something like that, you might just need to put that in. If you're not sure, you can try it, give yourself plenty of time. I always recommend if you're live streaming, particularly on a platform like that, do some test runs as well. Things like YouTube and Facebook, well, we kind of know how they work and we can log into those. But again, always a good idea to practice these. So you could put in your username and password there. When you're ready, click go live. Now, my tip here, I'm not gonna click go live just yet. I'm actually just gonna untick that is when you do, be ready. Make sure that you're ready to go. If you're talking or whatever, your audience might hear it and you don't want that to happen. It starts pretty quickly usually. And I've tried this on YouTube and Facebook. So you could get caught out if you're having a conversation and you're watching it on screen because when I click on go live, oh, enter a live streaming page URL. So I forgot to do that. Let's go here, let's copy, let's just paste that in, hit go live. Now at this point, I would be ready to go. And you might see it's getting ready, but actually it could actually start streaming right now. So anyone who is watching this might see this at this very moment. So it's now taking me to that page. That's why it needed the URL because it's now gonna open in that page and just let me mute that. So it's opened it up in that page, ready to go. So how do you stop the stream? Well, let's just go back to Zoom and it's the same with you using any other service, YouTube or Facebook. Go to the top of the screen, click here, and then press stop. As soon as you press stop, be aware that it might stop right then. So finish what you're saying and then hit stop. Okay, so that's how it works. Based on all the videos I've got, you can now stream to YouTube, Facebook, and anything that uses something called RTMP. And I told you that there are things like Vimeo, there's Hopin, Crowdcast, and a whole bunch of others there as well. So you're pretty much covered. You can get live streaming software such as OBS. You can also use Wirecast, there's vMix, there's a whole range of them. But you've probably already got Zoom, so why not use that? If you want more help on this, please get in touch. I do lots of live streaming and, and I can help you out or even teach you how to do this. Speaking of teaching you how to do this, check out my YouTube channel, which you're on now. This has got lots and lots of videos. By the time of recording this, or rather at the time of recording this, you think I'd get that right by now. There are nearly 500 videos there, just a few short of it right now. I think by the time this one goes out, it's 496. So there should be something for you there. I've got everything, tech, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, filming, photography, how to use your phones, your iPhones, your iPads, and Zoom. So anyway, hopefully some of those will help you out. Thanks for watching. If it's cold where you are, like it is here, you can see the snow behind me, then stay warm and stay safe. Take care and thanks for watching.